One of the things we love about Maine is always a connection. Yeah. Someone knows something about the story. Mm. Can you imagine our text threads as if somebody had to switch them and like connect it to right. each other? Texting, oh, that would be right. big business. I don't think we would text anymore. No. We, would we wouldn't say any of the things that we said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I sometimes think about like, It'd be cool if phones went back just a little bit mm -hmm. on cell phones. You know the one thing I, I wouldn't be willing to give up with the smartphone is navigation. Oh, yes. Because I've thought about this. That's like, would I be happy with a flip yeah. phone? Everything except for that They're I could live more with. They're popular. Okay. People, They're going back, right? dial back the... But I'm just saying, back. we used to get lost all the time. Right. Yeah. And now we don't. Yeah. We might take we a weird way to get there. Are, right. But yeah, we might take a weird way, but uh, yeah. All right. Cole. Yeah, how about that? Cold today. <laughs> Temperatures are in the 20s still, uh, 16 in Berlin, 10 in Rangeley. It's been stuck in the uh, single digits to around 10 all day there. Frenchville at 15. The wind has been the problem. The wind is gusting now 40 miles an hour in Portland, 37 in Bangor, 29 in Rockland. And so that adds quite a wind chill. Feels like the single digits pretty much statewide feels below zero in Rangeley, Greenville. Caribou sits at three degrees. So that's been the issue today. Here's our next storm system. Doesn't look like much because it isn't really. It's just, it's not technically an Alberta clipper, but it's that type of little system moving in from the west that's going to come in uh, tomorrow night and into early Friday. So hour by hour forecast here, cold tonight, teens and single digits. It's worth noting tomorrow that although we'll be talking about the snow for tomorrow night, during the day tomorrow, it's actually pretty nice. A lot of sunshine, 30 to 35 degrees for highs, and then clouds come in from southwest and northeast late afternoon. This is sped up just a tiny bit, so we'll keep an eye on it. It originally looked like it was around midnight. Now it's bringing it in between 9 and 11 over western Maine, so that could make a difference for some people, but it's snowing overnight on Thursday into early Friday. I think this thing's out of here pretty quick, especially over southern Maine. On Friday morning, some of you may wake up and it's already done. Down East Maine will wait until, say, late morning, 9 or 10, and then we get this thing out of here. So I don't think it is a very long-lived situation, and it's not snowing all that hard during the middle of it either. The temperatures are cool behind it. So kind of the same thing. If you have a great attention to detail, you'll notice that this morning Todd took the line from here to here to include Bangor in that one to three, dusting to an inch to the north. Otherwise, these are just kind of broad brush one to three situations. that is not much moisture to work with there. Weekend looks okay. Snow showers on Saturday, but that's the warmer of the two weekend days. Brighter but cold on Sunday, and then we'll wait to see if there's anything else cooking. Not a whole lot next week for big storms. We wait until probably next Friday. I like that. That's interesting. It's a while away, though. So at the earliest, we'll be talking late February for our first major storm in February, right? I didn't forget any, did I? No, we didn't really have any. No? <clears throat> no. So, no. So yeah, our earliest we would have a major storm in February would be the 23rd or 24th. So that tells you a lot. And by the way, early next week, mid next week, it gets mild. We'll be in the mid Jeez. 40s, perhaps upper 40s on Wednesday if that front sits just mm. right. So a um, little snow to freshen things up, but not a wholesale change into a more wintry pattern going forward. Yeah, such a weird pattern. Yeah. Okay. All right, Keith, thank you.